Dr. Beth Kasanoff Piper, President of the Dallas County Medical Society. The approach to COVID-19 that I see in a number of patients seems to be, I'm young and healthy. If I get COVID, it will just be like the flu. I'll be sick for a week and then I'll be fine. But we're seeing a large number of patients who don't feel well for months after having COVID. Patients tell me I'm still feeling fatigued. I can't exercise like I could before and I feel like my brain is in a fog. It's hard to concentrate. Information about the long-term effects from COVID is just now emerging, and this area is constantly changing. So what we know now may be completely different in another few months. But what's been seen so far is that about three quarters of patients hospitalized have at least one ongoing symptom six months after COVID. Fatigue and muscle weakness are the most common, but also we see shortness of breath, sleeping difficulties, anxiety, depression, and hair loss. And about a quarter of patients who didn't even require oxygen during their hospitalization had decreased lung function at six months. It appears the potential for long-term breathing issues is greater for older people, for men, and in patients with underlying health problems. Brain fog seems to be the most common lingering effect. People describe issues with short-term memory, concentration, and word-finding difficulties. There's no clear correlation with severity of illness, age, or underlying health issues, and the symptoms often fluctuate and often correlate with other symptoms like fatigue. Many patients have poor sleep. A number of conditions like depression, anxiety, and PTSD have also been seen, as have headaches, tingling in the arms or legs, and fluctuating blood pressure and heart rate, lightheadedness, and palpitations. What do you do if you feel like you have some of these symptoms after you have COVID? Talk to your doctor to be sure there isn't another cause for your symptoms. Be sure you're drinking enough fluids and getting enough sleep. Start some low intensity, low impact, short duration exercise and gradually build up. Don't go back to trying to do what you could do before COVID right away, and don't push yourself to recondition too quickly. Talk to your doctor about any symptoms of anxiety or depression you may be feeling. These symptoms can affect your physical well-being as well as your mental well-being. The good news with long-term symptoms following COVID is that they do gradually get better with time. Keep wearing your masks, washing your hands, and watching your distance to prevent COVID and get the vaccine when you're able. Thank you.